Welcome to Shaman Man, a channel for spiritual growth and personal development. We hope you find this video helpful, and if you do, please like, subscribe, and leave us a comment letting us know what you think. We're glad you're here. Be well. I've been uh, really working on thinking about what is a natural flow of things. You know, in all my research and study over the last 10 years or so, I've been kind of um, surprised by how much convention, how many things have changed in order to encapsulate, let's say, time in everyone's normal working day. So when you think about here in the United States, and you think about daylight savings time, you think about the convention of a 31 day or 30 day or 28 day month versus following a normal, let's say moon cycle, which has been done for thousands, tens of thousands of years, depending on how old do you think we are as a species. Um, it really gets me wondering as to why. Why would times change? Why would convention change? What's the point? If there's a natural flow to things, and if you're feeling energy or want to work within that flow, why would that flow be disrupted with convention? Or societal aims or what have you? It seems to me, from my experience, that when I have been able to listen and hear what is the right next steps, things open up and flow so much better. When I've tried to force the issue, um, you know, use my willpower and, and regardless of what's going on around me, you know, I'm going to barrel through this and just make it happen. You know, there's something to be said for that. You know, it's called perseverance or it's called, you know, um, uh, you know, it's your job to kind of, you know, make it through this thing. And of course, yes, perseverance is important, but perseverance um, without listening to the natural flow, without trying to operate in the natural flow, creates a lot of resistance. So imagine, you know, it's like paddling up, up river, right? Um, and so I've been studying even more, and, and in fact, over the last several months, I've been trying to uh, work more in a natural flow of things, more of a 28 and change day cycle, and take advantage of as the moon is uh, increasing towards a full moon, let's say, I work on things that I want to bring more of, and I set the intent for that. And then as the moon wanes, heading to the new moon, I try to let go of things. I use that other half to say, you know, hey, these things don't serve me anymore, and then I, I try to let those things go. And I have to say that it's felt a lot better. I feel more in alignment with what's around me, with the energy that's around me, as I feel things from, uh, let's say, astrology, as I feel things here on the planet, cosmically or whatever, and you're, you're trying to understand the waves, right? Uh, and, and understanding them is not so much as to why, it's more about what am I supposed to do with this? So, and what we talk a lot about is, you know, particularly if you're energy sensitive, is that you know not to be a victim it's not a matter of well i'm just supposed to take it i was put here to spend how many ever years i'm here just taking it like a victim that's not <laughs> that doesn't sound like a uh, uh a model built on love and compassion and uh beneficial uh, uh symbiosis between everything that's around and as we all know that is the goal here right is we are presented you know, we're spiritual beings you know, manifesting in this physical form in, inside, a, inside a control system or several control systems, right? Um, some that are fabricated and some that are not. And 
And it's our job to sort through that and not to lose sight of who we are, what we are. And that's been our problem, right? Is that we've lost sight of who and what we are. And now is the time to remember. And you're being asked to remember. So I don't, I don't think we were put here to, um, you know, work 70 hours a week to get a McMansion. What if we were put here to fix ourselves and in the process of fixing yourself, you wind up helping to uh, fix others, intentionally or non-intentionally, uh, just used, right? Used by spirit, used in, in the bestest way um, for the good of you and for the good of, of what's around us. And so I would like you to um, think about what it would mean if you were in a different kind of cycle. I understand that we have jobs and that those jobs work on, on the, you know, the conventional system. But the real job is, is you, working with you. And what if you were able to kind of overlay the old ways on top of and try to feel that? How would that shift things for you? I know for me, it's been a really amazing and uh, enlightening and um, wonderful uh, experience because I, I didn't feel so like it had to be my way against everyone else, you know. It was more of what's happening and then how do I flow with the river instead of constantly trying to change its direction or because I didn't like it for whatever reason, you know, try to affect a change. What if I went with it and then as things were brought to me, I was able to recognize that opportunity and then do something with it. And that's how I've been really working with myself over the last several months. And it has been phenomenal. And so it does take a little bit of study, but uh, not a ton. And uh, just you kind of feeling what's going on and trying to go with it. So if I can make a recommendation is try this for the next 30 days or so and just see if you can ride with it and see what happens. I think you might have a wonderful experience too. Be well. Hey, I heard you want to